Yeah, I thought we played really well to be fair. Um, probably right throughout the game, you know, I felt we felt really comfortable. I thought defensively we were really solid and well organised. Uh, we thought probably a little bit where we've been caught out at times because we do have a lot of the ball, you know, sometimes our defenders get isolated a little bit. So we needed what you saw today really, you know, the two lads that had a bit of experience, that bit of know-how, good legs, um, and I thought you could see a difference in terms of that. But what I asked of the players before the game was to go and match what they did on Saturday, and I thought they did that again. The only thing that we didn't get was a goal, you know, that's probably a little bit of times in that final third, whether it's the last pass, you know, that cross, or just getting on the end of something. But we had so many good situations in the game, but I can't, I can't fault the lads. You know, I thought we, I thought we were really good tonight. I think mean, that's probably a good way of putting it. Good situations because their keeper wasn't really overworked. Was yeah, when you, when yeah. You were on the front foot. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought we had. Yeah, right throughout the game, that was a key thing. You know, being on the front foot, um, the energy of the players, the mid, the three midfield players, the energy that like Mo K, Callum Griffiths. Lewis, you know, Jordan Burroughs played on Saturday up against three centre forwards on his own. He's got a bit of help tonight in terms of having Joe alongside him. Alex Bray, who'd not been, had much football for a while, you know, to go and do what he did on Saturday, and I thought he was really, really good tonight. The lad should get sent off. You know, if he books him with if he books him with the first one, he's got to send him off with the second one because he's going into the penalty area. Um, so I think overall, obviously, the four lads making the home debuts, two of them the first games that had only been with us yesterday. So there's a, a real a lot of positives to come out of the game. I presume you didn't get a chance to. You told the referee what you thought, but you didn't get much of a response from him. At well, that's it's always the same, you know. He 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 said he thought the first one was worse than the second one. That's what he said to me when I was walking up the tunnel at half time, and I'm thinking, how how can that be? One's on the halfway line, the other one's he's going into the 18 yard box in a one v one. So. But what can you do? You know, I go and say the wrong thing and I get sent off or whatever. And I, you know, you, you see it so many times. So I just thought, just concentrate on my players and you know, try and get them to keep doing the things that we're doing and just try and get the goal. Of course, they subbed him straight away, didn't they? Yeah. Just yeah. Off, ready. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I said to the referee when he's coming out for the second half. I said, you see why? What's happened now? They've actually took the lad off because the new should have been sent off. You know, but what can you do? There's nothing you can do. The two new lads. Let's yeah. start at the back of Kennedy Digi. Yeah. He looked really good. Really Excellent, solid. yeah. Excellent. I think I think I mentioned over the last couple of days when we played him at home, the kid in Minster, I was really impressed then. Um, I spoke to a lot of people at, at, at clubs at a, pro, a really high level, you know, and I said, look, you need to go and watch this kid at, at Kidderminster who I'd seen, you know, just because I thought he could go and play at that level, never mind this level. And that's some debut, you know, I, I hope that continues, you know. And he's a young kid as well, I mean, 21 years of age, so there's definitely a player there. He doesn't look flustered, he was hard to knock off the ball. Yeah. On occasions he showed really good upper body strength. Yeah, yeah, he's a strong boy, you know, for a young lad, he's a strong lad. Um, really comfortable in possession, composed, which is, I, I want my players to be that way, whether it be centre-backs or wherever it is on the pitch, I need that because I want us to try and play. And it was a really, really assured debut alongside someone in Joe, obviously, who's a little bit older, but he's got plenty of games under his belt. And I thought between the pair of them, bearing in mind they're dealing with two big lads, you know, first half, and then they've changed it a little bit second half, but I thought uh, I'm really pleased with, with them both. I'm, I'm really pleased with everyone, you know. The only disappointment is that we didn't win the game, but overall it's pretty pretty tough to fault the players for that. Alex Bray, we thought was quite rightly named man of the match. Yeah, the game the yeah he's a really talented boy, you know. Um, as I said previously, I'd seen him, and then I, I speak to I spoke to a lot of people, so I trust their opinion, and I'd like to think they wouldn't sell me a dummy as such, you know, in terms of when you're speaking to them, and this is what football's about, because I, I hope I think I've got a lot of good relationships in the game, and I trust what people say, and the feedback that I got is what I've seen in the last two games. So long may it continue. Hopefully, it'll go on and improve because the more games he gets and creates more chances for others and gets himself goals because he's, when he gets going he's electric to be fair. You finished nil nil, the crowd's gone home happy tonight. There, there was <coughs> obviously standing ovation in the yeah. not one boo at the full time whistle. Everyone's yeah. applauded the whole of your side off. That must yeah. be such we leave you in good spirits as you drive Yeah, home. we must be getting somewhere, you know. <laughs> I no look, I understand, I understand obviously I've said this before, how they can become frustrated and I think when I spoke to his after the game 
I said, if we go about the right way, the game the right way, you'll always get what the reception that they got at the end of the game, and these, these are the key things. But not only did we work hard, we actually played some good stuff as well against a team that's doing well in this league, so they're lucky to come away with a point, that is for certain. Yeah, at, at times that second, I think they were happy to have the point, even though they knew with a win they'd go top of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, come, yeah, it seemed that way, probably the last 20, 25 minutes where... They probably was quite happy to come away with a point, obviously, with what happened in the game and the amount of good situations that we had. Um, we thought about it. it was a difficult one because we looked so comfortable in the game and you're thinking, do I change it? You know, Do I try and get Mac on a, a little bit earlier? Do I bring Big John on? Is it an Alex Harris game? But we were playing well, you know. I wanted to try and leave it as long as I possible, as long as possible. Sorry, and just disappointed we didn't win. But like I say, there's a hell of a lot of positives to come out of the game. Is your biggest problem now in the days leading up to altering and making sure these players have enough rest so they're 100% ready to go again? Yeah, it? yeah, that's a key thing. I'm, I'm really pleased because the things I said to him after the game in terms of the recovery, starting straight away and eating properly and resting, and well, you saw that in the game tonight. They matched their energy levels again, so that. That was a real plus. They're starting to buy into probably more, well, myself, but more Stuart and Ian in terms of the professionalism and the sports science side of it. Um, and we've got to do that again, again between now and, and Saturday. All, all the players will be in tomorrow to do, start this recovery process again. They'll go straight into the room now and have something to eat. So it all starts again. You know, we have to keep getting to them levels time and time again. We saw all the players at the end who were in the stand because they just can't get in your match day squad now. Yeah. You've spoken ahead of this game about maybe moving some of those players on. Yeah. Are you any nearer to be able to do that? Yeah, there's a couple of things, a couple of things that are going off. Um, maybe, maybe something could ha happen tomorrow with probably two or three players potentially. And if I'm being totally honest, it's probably to be fair to them as well. You know, there's lads who are at good ages who um, want to go out and play regular football. And if I'm being totally honest, I can't guarantee that at this moment in time. And the, probably the ruthless side of it a little bit is where I have to do what I think's right and luckily for me obviously like I said she was about a week ago or whatever it was about that, speaking to the chairman and what he came in and actually said to me was fantastic and he gave me the opportunity to do what I've done over obviously over this last week or so um, but I'm still really conscious of not having too many players I, I don't want that I don't think it's fair on the players I don't think it's fair on the group when you're trying to work with players every day and the other ones are getting frustrated because they're not getting a look in. So it's just trying to find that balance and making sure everyone's happy because I want I want a happy group. I want lads who come in every day and want to work hard and go about the game the right way, which we've done tonight and we did on Saturday. So. Well, commiserations not getting all three points. We thought you deserved it as well. I think yeah. everyone here will go home happy tonight even with just one point. Yeah, yeah that, that's the thing. You know, We're a little bit disappointed because we didn't get the result, but there's so many positives and if that's... A start of something and we can build from there again and try and go on a long run where we get a bit of consistency in terms of performance and pick up results then that's that's the key thing now moving forward.